This is episode 1780. Welcome to the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley and I honor you for giving yourself permission to slow down and connect to the best part of who you are. In today's episode, we complete a series we've been exploring all week long on giving yourself a mental cleanse. In each episode of this series, you've discovered a meditation technique that you can do as you meditate and also as you go about your day. The meditation techniques I share with you can be done during your most stressful times throughout your day. And when you use meditation techniques, especially if you combine a few techniques together, it helps you to transition from what you were doing during your busy day to a state of inner peace. It's hard to sit down and instantly be in a state where you can experience immediate peace and calm, it's more likely that you'll need to do a breathing technique or to repeat an affirmation or to do a mudra or visualization or any of the other techniques that I have been sharing with you throughout this series to help you gradually become calm. So, As you meditate today in the final episode of the Cleanse series, know that our full guided meditations are on the Sip and Ohm Meditation app. You can try it for two weeks free access to the full app. Again, it's totally free for two weeks when you subscribe. That is an app where you receive a journal and a slowdown guide for each week's theme. So you get a few extra perks and more in-depth guidance with your meditations. So again, the Sip and Ohm Meditation app for you today at this moment as you celebrate the final episode of our Mental Cleanse series, I always provide a reflection meditation. This is one of the most important meditations in a series because when you reflect back, in this case, over your week, but you could also reflect back over your day every night before you go to bed. The Dalai Lama is reported to do this. And what it does is it allows you to become aware of how you're living your life. You start from this moment and you work your way backwards and you go through your week and you just think about the highlights that stand out from your week. You don't have to go through each and every day. You may not, if you're like me, remember what you did each day of the week. But there are surely some moments that seem to define your week that really stood out in a great way. And also, maybe there were some painful or difficult or fearful experiences. And those are just as important to reflect on as are the good moments. So doing this reflection in the final episode of our weekly series allows you to become very aware of how you're managing your emotions and what's triggering different emotions. And then to reflect on celebrating as well as improving yourself. Your insight for today on your mental cleanse is this. 
as you consider cleansing your thoughts, you may be thinking of burdens or hardships that you seem to carry with you that you'd like to cleanse. And I hope you were able to do that throughout this series. But when you consider your grievances and your burdens, it's not so much about avoiding moments that cause you to experience difficulty. It's more about learning to carry your emotions well, regardless of what happens to you in your life. Because we can't always avoid difficult situations. People who we love die. People who we love may do cruel things to us. You may have difficulty with your health. You may have difficulty with addiction or depression. You may feel disconnected from other people and the world around you. You may have a hard time getting out of bed in the morning. So as you give yourself this mental cleanse, keep in mind that your happiness is in doing your best every day, consistently showing up. Because life is not about what does or doesn't happen to you, regardless of how positive your attitude is in life or how well you take care of yourself, how many great people you surround yourself with, how many hours you meditate, whether we like it or not, we will suffer. And when you can't accept that part of your life with a spirit of growth and learning and curiosity, you will find that you embrace all of life the good and the bad, and sometimes the most difficult burden of all is simply the fear of that burden, of something happening to you or a loved one, of not being able to control what happens to you in your life. So embrace all of your experiences, and when you're suffering, Allow yourself to evolve with it. Take a curious approach. See what you will learn. And you will be able to keep your mental wellness strong. So, as you get ready to meditate today, and settle yourself down and begin to relax your body and calm your mind, keeping your spine straight and your eyes uplifted to the point between your eyebrows. This is referred to as your spiritual eye in yoga and meditation. And when you keep your eyes gently uplifted, it uplifts your thoughts as you meditate. And now as you begin to calm your mind and body, reflect back over your week. What were some big wins? What are you proud of? What happened that lifted you up this week?
and then look back over your week and think about what was difficult. What was challenging? Thinking of your week in reverse and the highlights, the good and bad highlights of that week. And finally, think about your three best takeaways from this week's series. Things you learned, things you would change or do differently. How will you take what you've learned in this series to keep yourself in a mental cleanse state of mind? Continue meditating, sitting in stillness, allowing yourself simply to be, knowing you are so worth slowing down for.